Hello everyone, it's Carrie Bradford and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can shorten or elongate certain designs to customize it to your needs. For this example I'm going to use the planner dividers and of course you can always just grab the handles and move them up and shorten them like this but when you do that you get distortion in your design and something like this it's not quite so noticeable but there are other things that you might have that would be more noticeable and so distorting it isn't always the best option so I'm just going to undo that. Of course you can always come in and move the points and move them over but if you have a ton of points like this and you're wanting to get into here that's a whole heck of a lot of points that you'd have to try and grab. So what you could do instead to shorten it is to use your knife tool. So I'm going to press K for knife and you can see it brings up my knife window and I want to make sure treat unfilled shapes is set to solid so that when I cut it it's going to make two halves again. So I'm going to go ahead and again press K for knife and I'm going to click hold down my shift key and drag across and then let go and now you can see we have two halves. The knife tool has closed up the path for us after we have cut them apart. So if we wanted to shorten it, we could just simply go like this and just use our arrow key and move it down and then we can make a shorter one and then select both, right click and weld. And now we have a shorter one. If we want to make it longer, let's go and change our knife to outline so that when we use our knife tool, it will not close up those paths like it did on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and press K for knife, hold down my shift key, click and drag, making sure that you're going from outside edge to the other outside edge, and then let go. Now you can see that we have two pieces. Now, when you do this, you essentially tell Studio that you now have two individual designs. This is its own design and this is its own design. We need to tell Studio that these two actually belong together so that we can connect our dots. So I'm going to go ahead and select both items, right click and choose make compound path. Now if we double click on this point here and drag it towards the other one, you can see how it just snapped it right into place. And we can do the same for this side. Click and just start bringing it towards it and it will snap right into place. So there we have shortened it and we have elongated it without making any sort of distortion to part of the design that's there. And then one other thing that I wanted to show you is that you do not have to be limited to just the design itself. You can alter it to fit the needs that you want. So for example, say on this tab, I actually want this to be a bookmark rather than a big full sheet tab. What I can do is I can press K for knife, make sure we're on solid because we want our paths to close when we're done. And then I'm just going to kind of come so that it's about even on both sides. Press K for knife and click, hold down my shift key and drag and just lop off that half. And now I've made a bookmark, which is really cool. And there's one other little tip. You can always use your grid. I pressed G for grid. You can use this as a guideline to determine the height or the width of the design it is that you're needing. Okay, that's the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching.